So here we go, Claxon time, Town have made a deadline day signing. Gassan Hadmi has joined Town on a permanent deal for a three-year contract. I'm joined by good old Matty Worrell as we discuss this deal. Matt, I was just chewing into my pizza, then this news drop. Uh, but how are you, my friend, and um, a signing on deadline day? What's your thoughts overall? Yeah, pl- pleased with that one, to be fair. Um, it's been a usually as an Ipswich fan you don't get much deadline day drama do you but that's kind of the script's been ripped up in the last couple of seasons um but yeah I think it's a a, a good sign and it's I think we all kind of or at least most of us thought we probably needed another striker another body up front and I think he's uh, a good option to have he offers something a bit different I think than the bodies we've already got in the building um so yeah I'm, I'm quite pleased with that one it, uh Looks to be quite a positive move, I would say. I've heard a, a six-figure sum, so let's flash a bit of cash. So, you know, you always like to see that <laughs> for your own team, don't you? So, yeah, I'm, I'm quite pleased overall. Definitely. And, um, of course, he was a standout against us when he played Burton at the Pirelli a few weeks back. Um, of course, Burton are struggling down the bottom um, under George, Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank, but I know they've, they've sold a lot of their players. Um, you were there on that Tuesday night, a 1-0 win, a battling 1-0 win. And as you said, he was one who st- stood out for you. Uh, what did you like from him? Yeah, I, th- I think he was a, a player that's... Um, he, he was really hard to ignore for Burton. He was pinning our um, centre-backs really well. I thought he offered um, sort of a good amount of pace and physicality. I'm not going to say he's like a strength monster, but he was putting himself about and um, definitely had a, a bit of pace. Only thing that you would say a negative, I'd say, against his performance, he didn't get the goal. Um, he had a, I think he had a couple of opportunities that he maybe should have put away. But if there's any manager that's going to improve a player, that's, Kate, that's Kieran McKenna. And look at what he's done with Caden Jackson when he came back into the team. Um, and I think K-Mac's really going to, going to bring him on. So, like you say, when you go away, we were saying before we, we came on, when you go away, you're always focused on your own players. But when you can come and... Uh, Go oh, wow! I, you know I couldn't miss that that guy up front for them. It's got to be a good thing. He was a real sort of pest of a striker. He was always getting trying to get about uh, centre half. So I think he was, um, yeah, really sort of looking to looking to press us quite high um, and with a lot of physicality and energy that we know McKenna likes. So looks to be a good fit. I think it's uh, a different, as I said, different body than what uh, Ladapo offers. Um, and probably what Caden Jackson offers, I'd say he's kind of a bit of a middle ground from what I saw in, in that game, um, sort of combining a bit of pace with a bit of physicality. So hopefully uh, it's a happy medium when, when we need to, to, to you know, bring someone on and, and get a couple of extra goals. I think he could be the man to do that. Yeah, indeed. And, you know, he's still a young lad, so he's, he's signed for potential as well. Um, yeah, I think he's only yeah. 21, so he's still going to um progress and you know he's going to get that potential and um he's got that Norwich connection of course fans will look at that and go that was in the academy um and I think we saw on um, on his Instagram I think he deleted all of these Norwich (laughs) pictures so he's straight away gone yeah good PR work there um but as you said you know we've been looking to getting a striker in um some people you know George Hurst is one of the players his other players been linked um but now Kassan had I hadn't he me I can't say it <laughs> Sad had me, um, has, um, <laughs> it's all confirmed. So, you think that is now the striking force is all set up now? I would say so. I mean, I think with obviously him in the door, Jackson, Ladapo, and John Jules, who can obviously play up there as well, that's four options, four players who I think all do offer their own unique sort of attributes. Um, I'd say we've got quite a good and quite a well rounded unit. Um, as you say, he's been at Burton. I think he's scored at five goals this season in a Burton side that's not particularly set in the world alight, <laughs> to be kind to them. But um, that's a good return in, you know, in a side that is sort of struggling. Um, I think you give him the support of people like Connor Chaplin and Marcus Harness, Wes Burns. He could really, you know, hit the ground run and could really uh, pull up some trees, as it were. So I'm really looking forward to him getting them started. So. Who knows, you might see him up at Accrington on Saturday. Yeah, definitely. We'll look forward to it. Um, Well, Matty, thank you very much for joining me, my friends. Um, Hope everyone has enjoyed watching. Let us know in the comments down below your thoughts on this signing. Of course, we'll add the transfer files on him. There'll be an insight video coming up as well. So stay tuned for more news. Deadline day. It's been exciting. Bye-bye for now.